y'all and welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. So this week we have celebrated all the cat books for Adopt a Cat Month and today I have for you our last cat book of the week. This is Homer the Library Cat. You see Homer? He's one of the library cats. That's a pretty cat. So if you're ready we're going to get started with Homer the Library Cat. Homer was a quiet cat quiet as a mouse a quiet lady lived with him in a quiet house so where's Homer there's Homer and there's the quiet lady who lives with him the lady went away each day Homer stayed at home he sat beside the window, peaceful, all alone. He played with yarn and feathers. They made no noise at all. When he heard a bird, he purred. Mice played with his ball. So there's Homer waiting at the window. And there's Homer playing with the yarn and the mice playing with his ball. Goodness. Homer was at home alone the day he heard a crash. He jumped right out the window and landed in the trash. The trash cans fell and banged and rolled and Homer ran away. Where was the quiet lady? What a noisy day. Uh oh, he heard a noise and he fell out the window and crashed in the garbage cans. The post office was right next door. Homer went inside, but Hope and Noah had to <sighs> cheat, a sneeze, and Homer had to hide. Oh, Hope and Noah had to a chew, sneeze. I wonder if they're allergic to cats. So Homer had to hide. Inside the fire station, he found a quiet place. Right beneath the ladder, a cozy cat size space. He's hiding in the fire truck. There he is. Is that a good place for a cat? He thinks it is. Clang, 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 the fire bell rang. A fire, a fire in town. Five fit firemen jumped right up. One quick cat jumped down. Not such a good place for a cat. Especially a cat that wants some peace and quiet. Homer ran and ran and ran down to the railroad track. He found an empty boxcar and jumped up in the back. Oh no, he jumped up in the back of a boxcar? Is that a good place to hide? I don't think so. A locomotive came along with engineer and crew just as Homer fell asleep. The whistle blew. Choo choo. There's Homer. Not such a good place for a cat who wants some peace and quiet. Homer ran back into town and through an open door into a quiet building across a quiet floor where is he there's homer he heard a quiet voice he knew he saw a rocking chair there was the quiet lady and children everywhere oh where did homer end up there's his quiet lady with children everywhere. Homer, said the lady, what are you doing here? Homer jumped into her arms and purred into her ear. Wow, he managed to find his human. The boys and girls loved Homer. Homer loved them back. He slept right through the stories but woke up for the snack. I would too. I'd wake up for the snack. Look, there's Homer sleeping. But the children all love him. 
Now, Homer is a library cat. He goes there every day. What do the children think of that? It's perfect, they all say. Homer the cat is perfect. Wouldn't you say so too? So I hope you enjoy Homer the library cat. And thank you for tuning in for our Adopt-A-Cat Celebration Week. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.